This conference will now be recorded. We don't want to cause that, do we? Yeah, we don't want to be that. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> All right, it's five thirty. We'll call the meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Commissioner Beeson? Here. Commissioner Spielman? Here. Commissioner Stover? Here. Commissioner Tweedy? Here. Mayor Warren? On vacation. Uh, opening prayer and pledge of allegiance. There you go. Pray. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that we can assemble together freely in this country, and we just pray that you be with our country, and may we uh, gain some unification over the events of the last few days around your loving grace and the things that you impart to us. Right now, we just thank you for this body of commissioners. I pray that you bless them. I pray that you give them wisdom. I pray that you'd help them with decisions they have to make. We thank you and are mindful of all of our city workers, our first responders, and and uh, each each department head and all the things that are done on, in the name of the city. I pray that you bless them, give them wisdom this next week, the next couple weeks. And I pray that you be with our citizens. We thank you so much for them. I pray that you bear the burdens of those that are going through things, and be with those that are launching out to do great things in the city. We ask all this in Christ's name. Amen. If you'd like, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any additions or deletions? No, there is not. I move we approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Awards and proclamations. Mr. Spielman. <clears throat> Whereas the National Disability Independence Day is celebrated each year on July 26th to commemorate the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, on July 26, 1990, and whereas the legislation established a clear and comprehensive national mandate for the elimination of discrimination against individuals with disabilities, and whereas ADA provides protection from employment and other forms of discrimination by reducing barriers and, and charging perceptives, increasing full participation in community life and providing better access to goods, services, and communications for people with disabilities. And whereas, although ADA has helped millions of Americans with disabilities to achieve equal treatment for disability individuals, there still are barriers to public accommodations of which governments, corporations, and business owners need to be aware. And the full promise of ADA only will be reached if we remain committed to continue our efforts to implement it fully. And whereas therefore the year and on the anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, this city and its Equal Opportunity and Accessibility Advisory Board celebrate and recognize the progress that has been made by reaffirming the principles of equal and inclusive and recommitting our efforts to reach full ADA compliance. Now, therefore, the mayor of our Kansas City, Kansas, does hereby proclaim Friday, July 26, 2024, as National Disabilities Independence Day in the city of our Kansas City, and hereby reaffirms that the city and its citizens will continue to work forward full compliance of a Americans with Disabilities Act. Thank you, Commissioner Stewart. Yeah, on this agenda, we have two items, approval of the regular meeting minutes, July 2nd, and approval resolution, resolution authorizing a public meeting for the governing body to attend a land bank board of trustees meeting at 5.15 p.m. Tuesday, August 6th, in the commission room at City Hall, located at 118 West Central Avenue in New York City. Thank you. 
I move we approve the consent agenda as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, new business. City manager. Okay, so we have an ordinance for me tonight uh, granting Idea Tech uh, Telecom LLC a contract for a franchise agreement. Uh, what they intend to do is construct um, fiber optics to home and businesses throughout the community. And uh, what this would do would allow them to access our, uh, our right of ways and, and those types of things to construct that. Um, I know they were here on the, at the work session and kind of give you guys a background on the company and, and what they're planning on doing. Um, they've been around uh, several, you know, for a while now. They, they're a local Kansas company, started here and have grown here, and they're uh, they're putting uh, fiber uh, internet systems in uh, communities across the state, and uh, we're kind of this next on the list there of um, communities that they would like to serve. Um, again, they'll provide uh, high-speed internet, uh, fiber optic, uh, true fiber optic to homes and businesses throughout the community. And this is, and they're. Uh... Something I think they can come in no matter what because it's a yeah we're just we're just partnering with them and, and getting this yeah uh, doing it the right way tele uh in, telecom and uh, specifically fiber and stuff like that they've they've gotten some kind of special um, things from the legislature over the last several years they can they can kind of come in and do what they want um, th they're working with us so on on a franchise agreement and and just you know where they're going to place their lines and and just Trying to trying to be a good partner with the city on 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 utilizing our right of ways and so I'm still trying to figure out how they get them under the streets and uh, highways. It's if you can't use that machine, he said, you just come in and make a little slit in the ground. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing that. They bore. Or do they bore it? Yeah. Okay. And he, they never explained that to us. I asked him a question about what do you do with people that have patios? How you get it to the house? And he Hmm. Yeah. And if people want it, then they have to contact them to have it put in their home. Correct. Yeah. And so that what they'll they'll make accommodations for every home in town, although they won't bring lines to every house. Um, once they're getting installed to it, once they're to a point, they'll I would imagine um, they'll probably start opening up portions of the city when they when they get in there and installed. And they'll they'll have a pretty good marketing campaign and and reach out to the citizens and offer their their services to them and give give them a choice on on uh, their internet. Make a motion that we um, <clears throat> grant Idea Tech Telecom LLC a contract franchise to construct, operate, and maintain a telecommunication system in the city of Arkansas City. Second. Give that one to Diane. <laughs> Okay, any further discussion then? I just want to point out that this will be going down the alley and not yeah, down yeah. in front of the houses. I would say that's for the most part. I mean, there may be some exceptions, but that's their intent would be, yes, in the hours. A few places down that doesn't have alleys. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. All right, number two. Okay, so we have a resolution authorizing the city to sell um, property to One Oak um, Gas of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma for $21,000. Um, I don't know. It, it, we have a map on the screen there where that property's at. It's, it's at Mill Road, just uh, off of seven. Is it the bypass? Yeah, I just eats the bypass on Mill Road there. Uh, there's a triangular piece of property come off there. Um, and one guest would like to purchase that. Um, we, uh, we, we've already had it surveyed and uh, got all the easement work done. There, there are some water and sewer lines in that area that, uh, that the city has, and so those have been, uh, the easements have been put in place on that, and they know about them, so, um, so they're interested in buying that for 21000 so. are, are they just going to build a building, or are they just going to use it for storage of the vehicles? Um, my understanding there'll be some type of a building on it. Um, yeah. Working for the city before, I, and I've said, I said this in the Friday work session as well, that track of land takes about four hours, five hours. Uh, takes a lot of diesel, takes a, a bat wing to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a welcome thing for somebody else to take, take it over and, and do the upkeep and care of that. So I think it's a win-win for us. That being said, 
I have a question. Uh, on, when we're selling property that belongs to the city, uh, I'm concerned about the process. It seems to me that, and, and we have property we want to sell off, that's fine, but uh, put it up for sale and let the highest bidder buy it. If, if you don't do that, then maybe you sold the property to somebody who's your buddy or, or wanted it. I didn't know it was for sale and I would have given more for it. I mean, it just seems to me that uh, rather than, and, and I may go to you about some property that nobody's ever even thinking about, and you say, fine, I'll sell it to you, John, and somebody else will say, uh, gosh, I, I would have liked to have that property. I have no idea. Sell for sale. So I, I just, uh, to, to sell property to one individual who happened to approach you or you approached him, uh, seems like a very poor process to me. If you have a property that you want to sell, let's sell it and sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah, and, and if it's a control issue, you still have that. You can tell me or whoever that uh, you control that with zoning or whatever. So that's my thoughts on what you're doing. How did, how did that sale come about? Did one approach us? Yeah, one gas has been looking for a uh, for property to purchase um, to to do some expansion that they're wanting right. to do. And uh, that particular property fit their needs, and they approach us about it. it uh, so yeah, that's we weren't actually trying to sell it to anybody. Um, and it, it, and the city has been taking care of it for probably twenty five years with nothing going on with it. Well, one gas is the parent company is Kansas Gas, which is the company that serves our gas needs here. Yeah. So it'll most likely it's going to be some type of facility to serve to serve the service of our citizens. So. Do we have um, something about how many acres that is? In the yeah. I was guessing five. Something like that. Yeah, it's a little under five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the contract. Yeah, 4.48 4. 4. acres. So I have no way he's going to address my process issue. So I'll address it again. You had somebody approach you that wants to buy this. And so you're willing to sell it to them. So you say, fine, I'll sell it to you. Uh, but we, the process is we will advertise we're going to sell it and you can bid this much and nobody outbid you fine. Is that the process? We just kind of, as, no, as, 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 if I, be the process. but it's not. I'll just say okay. there's no law that requires that in this there there are certain things we have to we do have to bids on but there's not most of the transactions that we do and we do quite a few of them with the city uh on a small piece of real estate you know after we tear a building down or whatever um the process is usually comes together where there, where there's an interested party already there and that's so that's that's the we've practice. done this we've done this for several years it's, it's been the practice at least since 2018 since i've been around yeah, we, yeah, we've done it a couple times this year, actually. Yes. All of our land bank properties are handled. Right. When somebody comes and wants to buy one, if somebody buys it for sale. has an interest. It's in this common knowledge that it's out there for sale. I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. That's okay. In this particular, you're looking at a very undesirable piece of property as has been described, and I'm fortunate to have a buyer. Yes. And at a good price. Yes. <clears throat> it is. Do we have a Did we have a motion and a second? Or? I was getting ready to make a motion. Okay. I move that we authorize the city of Arkansas City to enter into an agreement for the sale and purchase of real estate with one gas incorporated of Tulsa, Oklahoma, for the total sale price not to exceed $21,000. Second. Okay, it's a vo vo yeah. voice and vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Number three. Okay, so we have a re resolution um, approving uh the notice of intent to exceed the revenue neutral rate and set a date for a public hearing jennifer and yes, you either 
so by state statute, we have to notify the county clerk by resolution of our intent to exceed the revenue neutral rate. So um, through the discussions we've had, I believe that number is going to be 64.5 mils. Um, it's what we'll put in the resolution. And I do have to notify her by the 20th of July. So. And then this also sets the date for the public hearing for September the 3rd. And then, I, I, and I know inflation and everything's gone up. We were, we had a goal of 63. So our current mill levy is um, 63.074 right. this year's mill levy. Right. And, we're, and we did a lot of, I, I know, just want everybody to know we, we did a lot, or and Jenny and Randy especially, uh, and the, the people in charge, um, they did a lot of work on this budget and it was very difficult to get this even this close. And, uh, we, and Commissioner Spillman came up with a great idea. Commissioner Tweedy came up with a good idea that was even to get us closer um, with the inflation the way it is and, and the price of living going up. I think that this is very, very reasonable and we're being very uh, frugal with, with the citizens money. And I, uh, I am all for this Go ahead and, and going above it. And again, adjustments can be made. We can't raise it, we can come down. Um, but this is a starting point for the county clerk to put those tax statements together that'll go out to all citizens. So we did hold a year ago and we did. made it, but we also had to do a lot of cutting to right. do so. And things got, that we really did need. So right, and we got behind the weight ball for this year. Yeah, we were very lucky. Of it, we deferred a lot last year. That's going to have to be addressed next year. And to be honest, we're still recovering from that million dollar loan as well. So. I make a motion that uh, we approve the notice of intent to exceed the revenue neutral rate and set the date for a public hearing at 5.30 p.m. on September 3rd, 2024 for the purpose of hearing and answering objections of taxpayers relating to the revenue neutral rate and the amount of ad valorem tax use of all sides. Second. Okay, voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Okay, city manager updates and reminders. Okay, so um, we received a notification from uh, KDHG that uh, we have received a, um, a Kansas public water supply loan in the amount of $2,089,000. Um, with 100% forgiveness, and what that will do is put in a um, green green film cell, green uh, sand filter at the wastewater or at the water treatment plant uh, to help treat our manganese um, issues within the water system. So uh, we will have to do some more work on the applicate the final application for that, but we've been pre approved for that, and it is 100% forgive loan. So um, um, on July 18th, we um, have a mandatory harassment uh, training for all city employees. And you know, I, I would like to attend. Uh, we have two sessions, one at 10 a.m. and one at 1.30. Um, just if you're interested in seeing what that's about, welcome to attend. Um, on July 23rd, we're gonna have a public open house for the uh, proposed master plan for the city owned property, the 101 acres that was purchased up on Skyline and 8th and 15th. Um, that'll be held at the First Church of the Nazarene um, from five to seven them on July 23rd, so I'll be for public input and, um, on, the, on that master plan and tweak that a little bit. Um, the uh, lead conference this year is October 10th through 12th in Wichita. That'll be a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this year, so if any of the commissioners would like to attend all or any of it one, one day or whatever, just let us know. We'll get you, uh, get you signed up for that. Um, I got the updated numbers today on the uh, community CPI for the Midwest, so I laid that on your desk. Uh, um, just kind of, and just another, it inched up another. You know, inflation just keeps going up, so but that would give you kind of an idea where that's at. Um, and then um, I know we got an interesting call, Jennifer and I did this today on our uh, PBC bond. Um, you know, we're going to be uh, paying down some bond with excess money. Well, apparently you can make too much interest um, on the funds that. that so when we collect those, the, the, the sales tax, those are turned over to the trustee and, and then they can do different things. Well, apparently some of that money that the trustee was holding um, 
made more interest than what the yield on the bonds were. So that they're taxes in bonds. And so um, they're not allowed to do that. So look, it looks like the, out of that, out of those uh, redemption funds, we'll have to pay a little bit of money to the IRS um, because those funds earn more interest than they should have. So is there anything you want to? Uh, you can make too much money. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the, the bond council was, was kind of explaining this to us. This is the first time he's ever had to make a phone call like that. So again, we're the kind of the, we're always doing something. Yeah, we, I, hey, I think kudos to Jenny. Great yeah. job. <laughs> anyway, that was kind of an interesting call, but uh, we'll we'll have some more. We have some paperwork and stuff we'll have to fill out on that. that done, so. I think that's all I have. Oh, there was some, yeah, I forgot the, uh, there was some updates in there on um, the uh, projects. I uh, Nick provided a, a updated list on things he's working on and uh, PEC has um, their updated list on things. We did have a meeting for the golf tower rehabilitation project. Um, that will get started um, August 1st. Um, obviously they'll have to come in and set up and, and set for probably about a week or so before they start uh, uh, work. And, uh, but the logo has all been worked out with Creek Stone. Um, uh, our, our guys are going to have to do some work on getting the, probably do some uh, kind of uh, pre-runs on taking the water tile offline and, and, and pressurizing with the, with the pumps um, up there to keep them running smoothly. So. Um, there'll be a little work here um, in the meantime to make sure that we can keep everything running right, but uh, that, that'll be running going in pretty soon. Nick, is there anything that you and on any of these projects you wanted to? No. Okay. Okay. Am I seeing that piece that they are going to be driving through the streets on 715 they, this week? Yes, they were uh, there yesterday and today. So they're active. Okay. Um, is hike bike trail moving forward at all? As far as we know. Um, but Everything we've seen, it, it looks like it, it will go out to uh, a light, um, for, for this fall. So, okay. Yes. Everything looks very positive. Yeah. It's taken a long time to get it this far. Because of that before. Got my fingers crossed, yeah. but it looks yeah. like it this time. So. Okay, commissioners. Thank you, Randy. Commissioners, anything that you'd like to bring up? I don't have anything. Do we have anybody signed up? Okay. Uh, a financial financial summary. Uh, it, there's in the back of the packet. Um, I don't think there's anything. Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Yes, sir. Larry, how, how, how are you coming along with the sign ordinances? Uh, Josh is working on another project that we're going to incorporate those two things together okay. and bring to you. Okay. We have, he sent me a proposal of some change uh, wording to some of our, to part of our ordinances, and I sent some changes back to him. He's put those in the final form. He will, he will bring both of those things. I, I think he says he's going to take them to the planning commission first because they can kind of work hand in hand. The signs not so much, but the other, and then and then uh, have something for you all. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead, Rio. John Sybrand. Yes. Um, Could you come up to the podium, please, and state your name and address, and I'll start you at five minutes when you start. Okay. Uh, I'm here, and I'm talking a lot of you individually uh, about Wilson Park. I'm a friend of the park and I uh, think it's very important how we deal with that. And there's a lot of talk of a uh, 
the the uh, master plan being reactivated. And my view is that when it was first shown that the only thing that was publicly approved was the restoration of the train, which occurred at a cost of 70,000, which VJ Wilkins paid. So, but I think maybe Randy disagrees with that, maybe thinks that all that, or I got the impression that you thought everything had been publicly vented and uh, had been approved to go. And I don't believe that's the case. So my first question is, it's, am I the only one that thinks only one thing was approved when the original master plan had gone out? And if not, what master plan are we talking about? There's been two or three versions and is everything approved? There are things, is a library going to be built? Is a rotunda going to be? Uh, and, and I don't think any of you would uh, know or agree as to what's on it and what's going to happen. So, and it's extremely important because that is our Central Park, a historic park, 100 year old train, the only train that people can get on and play on. The rotunda was built as a Chautauqua in 1914. All types of historical speakers have spoke there. It sits right in the middle of our community and it's very important how we treat it. Now, I also heard at a work session that there had, uh, there had been some approval for somebody to build condos on the hospital project. And I'm totally against that. Uh, Central Park in New York City is surrounded by the most valuable real estate in the world. They don't build on it. It's a park. Uh, and, and I want you to think of this differently than property that's for development or a truck stop, this park belongs to the people. This is, this is not something that we just do what your opinion ought to be done or my opinion ought to be done. It's the people's park. And, and I don't know what was signed on building on the uh, hospital property. Uh, and I don't, can any of you tell me who's going to do it and what's going to be done or did you vote on it? Uh, these are questions I have. It was voted on. Um, we do have the, the master plans, which we could, uh, we could get those to him. Well, yeah, there, there was an RFP put out. There was proposals made. There was a proposal that's been selected, but there's been no official agreements uh, done yet on anything. So. There's been no official um, action by this, by the commission. Okay, so there, there is no agreement with anybody right now to build. No, those types of things are still being discussed, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll interject also. Uh, the other part of it was the pavilion for the farmer's market. That was part of the master plan, and it has gone forward. So it's not just the train that's gone forward. It's just one step. No, I understand that. But... Uh, and and my point would be yes that went forward and three hundred seven thousand was spent on it and and paid for by two hundred thousand from Creekstone and others so there was an outlay of money but what I'm saying is and that's water under the bridge but so but but as original uh, when that was unveiled that was not approved the only thing that was approved by and Nick Hernandez and Josh White made that presentation and there were questions on all these other things. Everybody had this, this, and it was specifically answered. Folks, this is this is a brainstorming, this is possibilities. All we're talking about tonight is the restoration of the trade. And it was pretty unanimously, I mean, who would be opposed to that? So yes, that went forward. Yes, it was part of the master plan. So uh, now whether that's a good idea or not, I don't care because it's already happened and there's no use debating that. But so is that going to continue to happen is what I'm saying. 
are, are, are people of the view that everything has been, um, you know, publicly vetted and. I don't know that we're ready to make that decision yet, John. It'll come up at a later time and we're gonna take your comments into, into um, consideration. Okay, that being said, let's fast forward. So there is no agreement as yet to build on the hospital property. Well, yeah, kind of, and, and yeah, no. Um, let me direct you back to the college when they had their master plan. They didn't have anybody vote on that until it come time to construct the buildings. That's when they voted on it. And that goes back to when Gwen Nelson was here. So this is kind of the same thing. When we when we get to where we are able to do something, that's when we'll take it under consideration. Okay, uh, then, and, and by the way, kudos for your A Street and the public, uh, uh, you know, what you're gonna do out there at the church and stuff. That's, since it's, it's clear to me that nobody can really tell me, okay, this, this, and this has been approved because of uh, the nature of what we're dealing is, I would say a step at a time, if you're considering doing something, let's be very public about it and get the input. Uh, Mr. Syrup, we've been way over time. I would suggest if you'd like to continue this, that we that you get on the agenda for our next meeting and actually get on the agenda instead of a, a walk-in. Okay, that and then I will be here till I die I'll give you, right. to, to help save the park. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, is there anything else? Move we adjourn. Second. Adjourn. Need a gavel. We just break. Tiffany,